I'm gonna be teaching you the tips and tricks to beat Frost Claw's Fury the most efficient way. And I'll be telling you how to get the brand new Christmas Future Egg. The only way to get it is from this mini game, so you'll wanna pay attention. All right, guys, make sure you watch this whole video for all the tips and tricks. Now you can play this mini game as many times as you want as often as you want. There's no cooldown like regular Adopt Me minigame. Unfortunately, there's no skip button for these cutscenes. Like if you've seen them 500 times, you will continue to sit through them 500 times. Take this moment to use the restroom, get a glass of water, get comfy, you know, get your game face on. So as soon as we get into Frostclaw's castle, the first thing we're gonna need to do is look around, guys. You are gonna need to find as much food and items as you can. The items are randomized. So what you wanna do is start over on the right. I like to start on the right it's not really important what you get just start on the right and then you can come into this room here walk by grab everything we got ourselves a ham i will eat the ham i think i think i'm gonna wait to eat the ham until i have the cookies i got some snowballs your snowball count will be up in the corner so you just want to run around the map and grab all these it's totally doable to grab them all um, before time runs out. So don't be stressed about that. You know, hit the back and then you can come into this back room on the back left, search all of these. Yes, grab this one. And then I think there's only one more item that we're missing, which is this one. So we got nine under nine items found with 35 seconds left. Each ham, I believe, gives you 30% of your health back which is really good. So if you have 90% of your health, you do not want to eat a piece of ham until you're down to 70%. The apples give you 10% of your health. I didn't collect any apples this time, but I'm sure I'll get some next time. Quickly, Miss Elto will offer you a cookie. So you want to be standing near her. You want to grab the cookie and then you'll kind of want to hang out near this bed and sleep. This is the best bed to sleep in because it's right next to this ladder, which will let you get up as fast as possible. So you don't want to camp the bed until she offers you a cookie. So you'll go stand over, grab a cookie. Maybe somebody will take the risk. They won't go get the cookie and they'll stay by the bed. But the beds closest to this ladder will be the fastest. But if you get a bed over here, don't worry. You can still hop up over here into these sections, cross this ladder and get up that way. It's just a little bit scarier in my opinion. We'll get in a bed. She's like trying to jump on, onto the ladder already. Go get into a bed. You want to definitely be on a bed, on top of a bed, on top of a crate um, for this part because Frost Claw. He comes in and then he causes havoc. He makes the chandelier fall, filling the room with poisonous eggnog. And boom, as we can see, it just, it just happened. Is that somebody's bed there? It could not possibly be. So as the room fills with eggnog, you'll jump up, wake up, hop on your ladder and then boom you're done you can quickly just hang out you know and you can watch other people see they, they are able to get up there i'm not sure what the easiest way is oh okay so they crossed the ladder they jumped up that way sometimes people get trapped here which can be really scary um but it's it's all good everybody survived this time which is really really good sleeping in the bed also restores your health okay i always also do this part too so I'll loop back to that, but they basically are like, oh no, the drain is clogged. Somebody needs to go get it. Um, oh, <laughs> it's me, it's me, I'm doing it. You lose 10% of your health doing the action considering that you do it like really fast. So if that's worth the risk to you, you can do it. I think you get some extra gingerbread at the end of the game. We will check. Next up, we're at the shop, guys. Here's some important information. Now you are granted a wooden sword that does one heart of damage at a time. But if you get that sword back there, the silver one for 50 snowballs, then you do two hearts of damage, which is better in my opinion. I also really like the addition of the hyper potion. The apples give you 10% health, the ham gives you 30% health, and I don't know what the gingerbread gives you, but I am willing to find out right now. So you'll run to the shop. You have plenty of time to shop. So I have 60 snowballs, let's buy. I'm gonna, for, for the video's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and buy 10 or 50 snowballs for 10 Robux. You can only buy this once, you can't buy it multiple times. I'm gonna upgrade my sword and then it leaves me with 30, 60 Robux. Let's buy, oh, you can buy 500 gingerbread. So it's currency, it's not something you eat. It's like if you want 500 gingerbread for the Adopt Me update to buy pets. So instead of that, I think I'm gonna buy some ham and then I'm gonna buy some apples because for me, I think it's a smart idea to get stocked up on health because these do get really, really complicated. Let's go ahead and eat our apple 
And then what you're gonna wanna do next, if you have 100% health, that's great. You're not gonna really need to do anything on this next part. I mean, this next part helps you get gingerbread, so you definitely wanna do your part and help, but you don't need to scramble for a bed. If you have 100% health, please leave the beds for players who need health. Um, that's going to be really important to helping you all finish the game and making sure you don't have to complete it alone. You should build some beds and head back to sleep. I think this is the first time in a story game where the bad guy or the good guys haven't been the bad guys. Like they don't, they don't end up being like bad people. So you can help build the beds, but if you have 100% health, you really shouldn't sleep in them because there's people who might need health more than you. Um, Cause if you have 100% health, there's no point. You don't gain anything from sleeping in a bed, but you do gain from helping build the beds. So that can be important. I will stand on a bed though, just because I heard a theory that if you don't, you lose health, but I don't think you lose any health. So while you're sleeping, again, Frostclaw comes. He likes to prey on the weak, only whenever you're asleep, I guess. He, he won't face you man to man, right? Um, and then you're going to play a game of survival. So basically, when these monsters attack you, they're gonna have red circles coming out from them. Don't stand in those red circles. Quickly try to evade the red circles. See, we didn't lose any help from not sleeping. Um, so, as these guys come, oh look, see you slept too long. You don't want to be in the red circle. So you definitely wanna avoid that to save as much health as possible. But if you're feeling a little crazy, you know, you can go for it. No one's gonna stop you. You get, you lose 10% of health every time you get hit, um, which, you know, is fine, I guess. But you do gain gingerbread for every kill you get. So you def, like if you're trying to save up gingerbread, if that's your purpose here, definitely get over there and kick some monster booty. Even if you assist, like if you hit somebody, if you hit one of the bad guys, but you don't get to finish off the kill, you'll still get gingerbread. So like, you don't need to feel like you need to get the last hit on everything. I think it's equal. So like, for example, watch, we'll hit this guy and then someone else will kill him and I'll still get the gingerbread. So don't stress out too much about that. Just try to help your teammates survive. If you notice somebody is kind of hurt and you feel like you could help them, definitely try. I think it's important. Teamwork is always good. Ah! If you want to storm some more gingerbread, I think you probably could, but if you want to survive, just make sure you jump down the hole. Next up is parkour. So this ice wall will be moving towards you. So you wanna be really careful because you need to do parkour, but immediately watch out because there's this big hole here. Some people, see, oh man, everyone fell in it. Be careful guys. You can run up the walls and then that way you don't even have to jump. Now avoid the spikes because the spikes will hurt you if you run into them. Even if you run into the side of them, they will still hit you. So you gotta do a little jumpy jump. Um, for this, jump on the post and then just walk forward. You won't fall off. Just jump on the post, walk forward, you will be fine. And then get your way up to escape this portion. Now guys, this is the exciting part. This is where you will look and find yourself a future winter egg. The eggs spawn around here. I've never seen one myself, but whenever you are being offered your second round of cookies, this is when you can kind of look around and see if one has spawned for you. It doesn't look like we got one this time, um, but do not accept Santa's cookies. Do not eat. Do not eat. Do not eat. Because they are poison, guys. They are poison. So do not eat those um, second cookies. You will regret it. It took me down to one health one time, and that was not easy. So when Frostclaw says, now freeze, go ahead and get behind a bookshelf. You see these lines will be green as long as you need to stand back here and then they'll turn red when you need to move, when he starts pushing down. Um, I think a helpful hint is to know wherever Santa is, that's the, oh, I was wrong. I was gonna say, I think wherever Santa is, that's the one he pushes over. But truthfully, I think that he just, um, you know, Santa, you'll wanna follow Santa because he'll lift up some of these bookshelves and he'll have a little safe spot. So I think that you could probably still claim the future egg if you see it in this part, but I have yet to see one. But apparently, allegedly, this is where they spawn. And then this guy, oh my gosh, he just hit me. <laughs> and now for my final act, I will turn you into statues with my frost breath. Ha 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 ha, starting with you, Santa. So he does take Santa out of the game here, at least for the time being. So he'll freeze Santa, he'll go through this window and you need to immediately run to this window and slide down to safety. This part I think is hard because there's some hills that you just can't see. All right, look around for an egg one last time. I, I have not seen one. So we'll slide, you can't move your camera or anything to see. Um, 
So just do your best, guys. Each time you hit one of these little lava crystal things, it takes 10% of your health. So you really, I think this part is kind of hard because look, I can't see where these next ones are. I just gotta hope. I'm gonna stick to the left and hope that that's good. And then of course we have these ones on the left. So you don't want, ah, you guys, come on, we can do it. I think I'm the last one escaping here. What's nice is you can't slide off of the thing. So you can go all the way to the right, all the way to the left without falling. And then there we go. We escaped to here, the final part. Now this part I think is pretty easy. He'll start off with his frost breath and it'll be like in a circle. If you get caught in the circle of frost breath, run the opposite way. Don't try to outrun it. Like say if, ah! Say if you're like here and it's coming towards you, like you see how it's going towards that. Don't try to run like this if you're caught into it. Run the opposite way because you'll get out of it a lot faster. I hope that makes sense. I don't want to take the hit to show you guys. Maybe I will near the end, depending on how much health I have. We'll see. So you'll just want to kind of stay behind him. Oh my gosh, there's only three of us left. Where did everyone go? Maybe they left after they saw they couldn't get the egg. I, I'm sure that's what people could do. You can play up until that point, and then when there's no egg that spawns for you, you could just start over and see if you could get one that way. My, my little helpful trick for this part is not to run around like crazy. You can stand in one spot. Oh, wait, okay. Run over to him, push the button. <laughs> Easy peasy. So whenever he's doing that thing where he's dropping the icicles from the ceiling. Oh, wait, frost breath. Just stand in one spot. You can easily see where he's gonna be dropping them and then just move out of the spot. Don't stress yourself out with running around too much. Trust me, you'll be fine. So he does two things in between. So he did the ice breath. Now he'll be dropping some icicles. So yeah, you just barely, ah, I forgot he does these two. So remember guys, don't fall in those circles and help your teammate. He'll jump over. I wanna press the button. I don't know if you're the one who gets gingerbread for pressing the button, but I'm gonna try to my darndest to get all those gingerbread. So the next one, he's gonna be coming over here to this one. So you can kind of wait by it if you want, but he is almost gone. So I'll show you guys. So if you're stuck in it, don't run with it. It'll be a lot harder to outrun it. See, run the opposite way. Oh my gosh, that was close. Run the opposite way, all for demonstration guys, just because I wanted to show y'all. Okay, don't eat that last piece of ham, Megan. Hopefully that was informative because I almost died showing you and you cannot respawn in this game. So that is, um, that was, that was certainly a risk. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I got bopped. All right. And now he's going to run over to this pillar. Oh wait. Oh, never mind. He's dropping more ice. He's dropping more ice. So you just run back and forth, back and forth. He'll jump over here. You can press this button and boom, he'll melt and you've beat the game. That's all you had to do. The rest is all like cutscenes. I don't know if you can leave at this point and get your gingerbread. I assume that you have to stay for the whole time and then get your gingerbread. My name isn't Thistlebread. My name is Cutie Cotton Caleb. Adorable, absolutely adorable. And there he goes. Bye Cutie Cotton Caleb. And we did it. Here's what we got. We got 8,665 gingerbread for winning survival time. Searching for items. We got the full gingerbread for that. Go to bed, escape the eggnog repair the beds so you don't get extra eggnog for or you don't get extra gingerbread for unplugging the hole it looks like fight the snowman escape the hallway hide from frost claw escape defeat frost claw so that is where we stand with 8600 gingerbread thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you found it informative keep on trying to get those eggs i am so excited to see if I can get one. Ooh, that was my third time playing. Still haven't gotten one. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hashtag stay PT, stay kind. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.